August 26, 2021, at 1700 hours local time, an explosion echoed throughout Abbey Gate. What the fuck? I'm getting taxed. And with that, ending the 20 year war in Afghanistan and throwing away the thousands of lives that fought and died trying to liberate the people of Afghanistan from brutal Islamic extremist ideas that grasp most of the region today. The withdrawal is a failure that should have never happened. Withdrawing from Afghanistan will lead to more problems that will probably bring us back into the conflict. One of the main concerns during the withdrawal in Afghanistan was it could lead to a power vacuum within the nation allowing the Taliban to regain control and create a safe haven for terrorist activities. Which happens after a few days of the US leaving Afghanistan. In August of 2022, President Biden ordered a drone strike in Afghanistan that is now controlled by the Taliban. Biden ordered the killing of al zarwe the new Al-Qaeda leader that returned to Afghanistan after US withdrawal. And if you need help remembering who al zarwe is, this should jog your memory. This alone proves why America should have never left Afghanistan. Now in my opinion, the most lasting effect of the withdrawal is that it has undermined US credibility. It weakened American credibility and influence, making it harder to garner support for future international interventions. Like the recent US-led coalition called Operation Prosperity Guardian almost did not happen because half of the ass nations refused to join. We also abandoned allies in Afghanistan. Biden said this in a White House speech, American troops cannot and should not be fighting in a war and dying in a war that Afghan forces are not willing to fight themselves. Well, everyone can agree with the first part, but the second part is a blatant lie. Many Afghan forces, even after the fall of Kabul in 2021, continue the fight. A now organized National Resistance Front and other anti-Taliban groups now fight in a guerrilla war against the Taliban. President Biden told many lies during the withdrawal from Afghanistan. He said this, he said his advisors did not urge him to keep a small force to prevent the Taliban takeover. But in reality, Generals Milley, McKenzie, and Miller all recommended that he keep a small force within the country to prevent a takeover. Biden also said that the Taliban was cooperating, letting American citizens get out. In reality, Secretary Austin told Congress the very next day that he had reports of Taliban fighters beating and harassing American citizens. Biden said he personally met with NATO allies and said that they agreed we should be getting out, but in reality, most NATO members did not support the unconditional withdrawal and senior officials in the UK government explored ways to keep their troops on the ground there after the American withdrawal. The decision by President Biden and the Trump administration to withdraw from Afghanistan has been the most disastrous foreign policy decision. Terrorism will now run rampant in Afghanistan and in the region. American credibility has been weakened. Billions of dollars in equipment and aid lost. And American lives 